These snapshots were taken at the airport in Aruba Friday afternoon. They show Beth Holloway and some accomplices leaving the airport in a white van. Josie Manzur is the editor of the Diario newspaper in Aruba. She came from Lima to Panama to Aruba with the Copa Airlines. What she's doing here, we don't know. Yesterday, Dutch media reported Beth was inside Castro Castro prison in Peru with a Dutch journalist to see Joran van der Sloot. Beth's attorney, John Kelly, confirmed the trip. He says Holloway wanted Joran to know she isn't going away. Because she had a hidden camera. They interviewed or interrogated her very briefly and then let her go. She stayed in Peru, I understand, to be able to talk to the parents of uh, the girl that uh, Joran murdered over in Lima. After that, she must have come to Aruba. What she came to do here, we don't know. Beth Holloway is no stranger to the island. Almost everyone living in Aruba knows exactly who she is. Mansour says it's difficult to tell how everyone living in Aruba will take the news that she's back on the island. A lot of people that have sympathies with her and a lot of people that have no sympathies for her because they consider that she did a lot of damage to the, to the name of the island. Tonight, the mother of missing Mountain Brook teenager Natalie Holloway will stay in Aruba on her continued quest to find the answers to the disappearance of her daughter. Shannon C. Myers, CBS 42 News.